Hello everybody and welcome back to the building of the Ben Buckle Falcon. This is just a little short video to show the progress that's been made in the latest update. Uh, at the end of a week I've got the fuselage, the 90% of it completed. Um, the actual sanding down and shaving off the excess wood will start when the weather warms up a bit. But I've actually now got the undercarriage in place and as you can see it's a classic sort of design a spreader the main undercarriage legs bolted and epoxied and held in place to the bulkhead and um, the rear leg was an issue because as shown on the plan the template was actually too small and after a little bit of cursing um, I had to remake it I also had to cut out the triangular strengthener here to actually get the leg through. But then that's then held in place with a couple of hard plywood uh, formers which epoxy, have epoxy to the frame. I think I'll still actually go a step further and put um, a cross piece of hardwood in here that this leg will be cable tied to. But there you go, I think you're starting to see the shape of it. I've also produced this cabin area or the forward cowl area and the angle here is set off the uh, wings which I've put on the, the body to try out to get the front windshield angle. And I've cut out the biggest space I can for a tank. Uh, it's going to be restricted by the size of tank that I can fit through that gap. But even though this is a large four-stroke engine, they tend to use very little fuel compared to obviously a two-stroke. So I'm quite happy that that will provide more than enough power. I haven't drilled the holes through for this and then of course the whole front coal area has to be done. I had contemplated making this uh, as a fiberglass coal uh, using uh, blue foam as a mould but um, I think I'm going to go traditional and it's going to be made up of uh, wooden blocks these need to be pulled in and then the whole thing needs to be built up but there you go that's the fuselage completed after a week's work uh, one minor mishap with doing the, the main part of the fuselage and the jig but in retrospect I think it's going to turn out even stronger Here's the wrap around that goes over the top of the coal. I wasn't sure whether this was going to be torturous, but after a bit of steam and it went round really easily, it sort of sprung back now, but I know that if I wet this and steam it, it'll go around no problem. Uh, on the plans, all you have are the position of these formers. I've actually added the additional strengthening in there because I don't want the thing to crack apart when I'm applying pressure wrapping this round. But overall, really pleased with the progress. I'm going to tentatively try hanging everything together and see where the CG will come out uh, in its bare state. I'm hopeful that it won't be miles out. Uh, I'll make decisions on the position of the servos after trying that out. So, as I always say, if you can get fly and do so, if you can't, get creative. If you click on subscribe, give this a thumbs up, it helps push the videos and it also keeps you updated on uh, where I am with this project and others that I have on the go. Bye for now.